What's up guys and welcome again to the complete Kotlin course. In this video, we are going to talk about the strings in Kotlin. So, we have seen deeply the strings in Java, but if you are uh, like a newbie or a beginner and you are learning directly um, Kotlin, we are go you are coming to the you are coming to the right place. So Kotlin, like any good programming language, can work directly with characters and the strings. So in order to create a string, a string has several characters, uh, like a variable used for uh, creating uh, variables and, uh, and uh, constants of, sty of type string that contains words or phrases or any other thing. So, but strings are characters uh, uh, sorry uh, are classes and we will learn about classes later on in the uh, oop section of kotlin but till now we are good to know that i can create strings a, a constant string or variable string in the same way like this so string a of type string equal to Hello, master coding channel. Also, I can print this string by typing string A. Let's run and see. Here we go. I have printed from the previous section. Hello, master coding channel. Okay, so in this way, we are specifying the data types and we have learned about the strings. But there is, it is as simple as this. The right hand side of this expression is known as string literals. We are creating a string literal. This way, string literals. Okay. We will uh, talk about strings later on when we talk uh, when we uh, learn about the OOP and of course type inference applies here as well. So if you remove the type in the above declaration, the Kotlin does not uh, or does the right thing. So if I re remove the string or if I remove the boolean or character or double or anything. Java uh, or sorry Kotlin will do the right thing and understand this that this variable or this constant would be a string a boolean character and anything so this is called type inference okay but I should uh, learn you the academic way should uh, uh, I should do, uh, start from zero and we will learn later on by removing this okay now I should talk about something in uh, strings called concatenation. Concatenation. You can do much more than create simple strings. Sometimes you need to manipulate a string. And one common way to do so is to combine it with other string. In Kotlin, you can do this is a rather simple way by using the addition operator just as you can add numbers and you can add strings okay what does this mean i have created a string called or i will start uh, by creating a new string string uh, b of type string equal to hi And second value of a constant called string C of type string equal uh, friends. Okay, these are two separate strings. I can write like this print print string a or string b sorry string b plus string string c 
In this way, we are concatenating the two strings exactly like in Java. We can con concatenate the strings and here you can concatenate the two strings. So I will put here ln and print ln, which is referring to print on a new line, this thing. So you see guys that we have concatenated the two strings. We have displayed hi and friends inside this one single line by concatenating the, the first string and the second string. You need to declare, uh, you can declare a variable here also, like val string d of type string equal to string b plus string c. Okay, you can do this and you can now remove and let's run and see it's the same result you we have created a st new string value uh, value new constant and inside this constant we have get it the um, the value of string b and the value of string c and we have concatenated them okay you and uh, there is another important thing that we can uh, talk about it in the strings. It's called string templates. So string templates, you can also build up a string by using string, temp string templates, which, are, which use a special Kotlin syntax uh, that lets you build a string in a way that it is easy to read. Let's create a va value or, or the using the same string val string uh, k of type string is equal to equal to Hello, I can put here a plus sign. Also, this is also a cold concatenation. My name is. So I am not talking about the concatenation. You can concatenate the two strings in the same way. Now, I am going to talk about the string template as I told you. So I will create a val string n of type string. I prefer writing like this uh, to understand Kotlin uh, very well and to the, the academic way, the academic uh, writings. So I will create Jack as string name and hello, my name is I can put dollar sign and string n. You see guys, I am putting the string here without specifying the name Jack like this. Because if I change Jack, I need to change here also Jack. So it, this is very useful thing in Kotlin. I need to print, print string k. I need to print k string k so let's run and see and here we go hello my name is Jack so Kotlin will put a go and uh, search for string and get its value and return it back so consider if you want to change it to a bbs a bus Let's run and see. And here we go. It is changed automatically. So this is string concatenation, string template, and the string class that we have talked about in this video.